In today's Gospel reading, we heard the words of Christ saying, Truly I say to you, not even in Israel have I found such faith. Who was Jesus talking about? One of the least likely people in the days of Jesus to be considered would be a soldier serving in the military. But that is exactly where Jesus found this person of great faith and great virtue. We hear about this soldier, a centurion, meaning he was in charge of a hundred people serving in the Roman legion. This centurion had a very sick slave and went to Jesus to heal him from an imminent death. Taking a closer look at the centurion, there are three major virtues displayed by him, and these virtues glimmer like fine jewels, beautiful and rare in today's gospel reading. The first glimmering jewel was the centurion's great compassion. Keep in mind, this was a simple slave who was ill. It was not the centurion's father, mother, brother, sister, or even a relative. It was only a slave that was dying. The centurion could have easily found a replacement, but because of his great compassion, he was extremely concerned about the welfare of his servant. One of the biggest sins of our time is the lack of compassion. Many are so wrapped up in themselves, they have no feelings for others. There are nursing homes and hospitals filled with lonely people, forsaken people. Many of them die from broken hearts because there is no one to have compassion on them. The centurion was a man whose life confirmed the virtue and the compassion by his external action. The second glistering or glimmering jewel we see in the centurion was his great faith. When the centurion heard Jesus was willing to go over his home and heal his servant, he was reluctant to have him come over because he felt unworthy to have Jesus under his roof and therefore only asked, only say the words, Lord, and my servant will be healed. This is when he exposed his inner faith in Christ, especially when he said, as a centurion, he gave orders to those in his charge. If he ordered a man to come, he came. If he ordered a soldier to go, he went. If he commanded his servant to do something, it was done. In speaking this way to Christ, the centurion was saying, just as those under my authority obey me, you who are Christ, the Son of God, have great authority. Everything is subject to your will. The forces of life and death the forces of illness and health, all these will obey you, O Lord. Therefore, just say the words, and my servant shall be healed. It was at this point Jesus praised the centurion's faith. He turned to the people following him and said, Truly, I say to you, not even in Israel have I found such faith. Then Christ prophesied about future times, saying, Many will come from east and west and sit at the table with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven, while the sons of the kingdom will be thrown into outer darkness. The prophecy has been fulfilled. People from the east and west, from all over the world, have come to believe in Jesus Christ as the Savior and have and will enter the kingdom of heaven, while those who profess to be believers but don't practice the faith will be thrown into the utter darkness. 
today. We are the children preparing for the kingdom of heaven. We are the heirs of orthodoxy, preserving and preserving and passing it on our faith from generation to generation. We must also come to realize great faith must bring a plentiful harvest of true Christian living. In the case of the centurion, we clearly see the harvest of great faith. We see it in the virtues of its everyday life. The third jewel glimmering from the life of the Roman soldier is his great humility. This is not a popular virtue today. Today, pride and arrogance overpowers the hearts of many. It is paramount that we as people of God must first exhibit great humility. My dear brothers, sisters, visitors, and friends, the centurion in today's gospel reading may have been a Roman soldier, but unfortunately, the centurion may shame a great deal of us with his predominant virtues of compassion, faith, and humility. His life during the time of Jesus Christ still stands as an example for us to emulate. Let us allow these same three major virtues, compassion, faith, and humility, to shine within us all the days of our life. Blessed be the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.